They dodged bullets to get to university and survived one of the world's most dangerous cities, all to complete their studies. It's the first time in almost two decades that Mogadishu's Benadir University has held a graduation ceremony. Completing your studies in lawless Somalia is almost impossible. I am one of Banadir University's first graduates. Thanks to God, because we had our education in this devastated country and we were safe from endless fighting. Also thanks to my parents who helped me become a doctor. No less than 20 young doctors proudly awaited their certificates, their chosen profession crucial in this violence-ravaged country. I'm very happy to have completed my education. It took me six years and I'm also very happy to be a doctor because I got my education here in Mogadishu and I can serve my people. It's civilians that have taken the brunt of the violence here. Exact numbers are hard to confirm, but it's estimated that over 10,000 people have been killed since the beginning of last year. And earlier this week, the United Nations launched a new emergency appeal for over $900 million and warned that Somalia's population faces total destitution next year if more effective aid doesn't reach them soon. It's here that these young doctors can now start to make a difference. They vow to stay in their country and apply the skills they fought so hard to learn.